limo driver claims two of his passengers attacked him at National Harbor because he is a Muslim. Now he's saying Prince George's County's court system failed him because those passengers walked away free and clear. Jennifer Donald joins us live with why the case is now being reopened. Jen. Well, it's basically because of our inquiry. This is a married father of two small children who's lived in the United States for 12 years. He's from Morocco, and he says these charges should have been hate crimes. They keep saying to me, we're going to murder you, we're going to murder you. For 40-year-old limo driver Mohammed Izahir, it was a nightmare. On March 10th, he picked up two men at Stadium Nightclub in Northeast and drove them to the National Harbor. He says they asked him if he believed in God. Told them that, yes, I believe in God and the prophet that I believe in is, is Muhammad. Well, my prophet is Muhammad. He said one of the young men began to make verbal threats against his life, calling him a jihadist. He said, you call the police, we're going to kill you. Izahir kept driving, saying he kept trying to calm the men down. Once at National Harbor, he said he quickly got out of his SUV and opened the door for the men to exit. Please go. I mean, don't say that kind of stuff anymore. That's when he says the other man hit him in the head. It was like two big nuts in, in my head. Easy here says he oh. fell to the ground, fracturing his hand. And I saw him fly backward. Chris Wallace worked at Rosa Mexicana. He recognized the suspects as bartenders who he says worked at Public House. He pointed them out to police and both were arrested but both eventually walked away without prosecution. It's a hate crime and it should be prosecuted as such. In May, prosecutors dropped the case against the man who allegedly hit Isahir because Isahir didn't show up in court. After our inquiry today, it was discovered there was a computer glitch. Isahir was never issued a subpoena to show up. We are going to look and see if it is a possibility to refile charges. And those charges, ABC 7 News learned, could include hate crimes. But today, the suspect who verbally assaulted Isahir, threatening to kill him allegedly, was simply ordered to pay $65 restitution. He walks and won't face new charges, we're told. I feel like I'm not human. Now, late this evening, we did speak with the suspect who's accused of assaulting the cab driver in this case. He says that he has no comment in his mind. This is over with. He said, I didn't say anything insulting. I didn't use that language. I asked if he hit him. He said, no comment. Reporting live from Upper Marlboro, I'm Jennifer Donnell in ABC 7 News.